This is gonna be amazing. It, it's likely his testimony be full of holes, right? It's right, Nick. <laughs> no ten minute trial this time. We'll milk this. We'll pass. <laughs> We'll milk this one once. Yeah, no. Ugh. God, I can read. We'll make this one for all it's worth. See, Maya got into Sias's reserves too. That's a problem because she's a minor. All I gave her was an iced tea. What was in the iced tea? Tea. Unless I accidentally gave her a Long Island sweet tea, in which case, oops. Is <laughs> now back in session. My God, does he still not have pants on? No pants. Witness. No, no shirt. No tie. No wit. No trial. Well, our rules only say things about shirt and shoes for service, so I guess we can't stop it now. Please testify to the court about everything you saw. On the night of December 24th. Well, me, Beard Elemental. For great justice, Sias. You're our- you are our last best hope for peace in the universe. He's angry. The, Von Karma didn't have time to prep Sias, but there is no- There is no time in the universe to- nobody's prepared for Sias. I just Not hope Edgeworth Senpai is right about this being our big break. His, his shirt nipples are still looking at me. <laughs> no, no, it's right. I was out in a boat on the lake. I was looking for something, and I found it. So I quietly slipped the boat back in at the rattled shop dock. Then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. I looked out over the lake, then I didn't see a boat. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. Um... That was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. <laughs> In any case, Mr. Wrong, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. What's wrong, Nick? I, I never have any idea what Sias is going to say. And, and at this, this time, someone's life is on the line. Is he gonna pull out a sword again? Like, it, it's gonna be intense, man. Well, we've come this far. There's no way to... There's no way to go but forward, Nick. There's a lot of deposition on the sixth statement. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. What's that again? Lana's deposition. There it is. Objection! 
Wait a sec, Sias. Uh, what? You only heard one bang? Are you sure? I think so. I was very drunk at the time. Miss Lotta Hart testified yesterday that she heard two bangs. And that crazy old guy just said the same thing. Wait a minute. Is that my brother? They both heard two gunshots that night. Ha. Huh. Were you even listening? Were you paying attention at all to what they said? <laughs> Yo, Sparrison, please. Ma? Yeah, you know, something's been bothering me. I'm a witness, see? I'm like a customer here. No, that's that, that's not how it works. So you gotta get me a Bloody Mary, okay? With a beef rib in it? Hell yeah. No drinking in the cart! Do oh. it! <laughs> Mr. Science. No, that's my dad's name. You only heard one gunshot. Are you sure you weren't blackout drunk? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you the truth. I'm not sure. God, that works too well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, well. I I didn't miss the other gunshot. I, I was listening to something else. Something else that went bang. Something else? Maria, dude! Where my headphones? What were you listening to? Hold on, hold on, and stop the booing! M Mr. Sias, you were listening to the radio with their headphones. All I hear is Radio Goo Goo, Radio Gaga. Yeah? So what? <laughs> that a crime? Yes. I listen to the radio. Everybody listens to the radio. Except In when video came out, then that killed the radio yeah, star. No. Rem <laughs> Remember this game happened like in the beginning of the 2000s, or just like the year before? Mm. I mean, they had slip phones. Mr. Von Karma, your opinion? A complete and utter waste of my time. Good, did we continue? I did not accept this witness or his shoddy testimony. Well, Mr. Wrong, should he continue the testimony? That's enough. I think I've heard enough. This is all too embarrassing. In fact, I think we've all heard enough. God, yes. What are you thinking, Nick? Speak up now! Mr. Edgeworth will be found guilty! You don't want your lover to be in jail! We have to turn this trial around now! Uh Your Honor? Allow the witness to continue his testimony. 
Blech. Nothing is more pitiful than a lawyer who doesn't know when he's beat, when he's lost, when he's kaput. So, so you're you're the most pathetic thing ever. Got it. Uh, well, Mr. Sias, please give your testimony and be sure to wear pants this time and include details like the radio. Not me, sir. Except for the radio. That leave that to me. You use your mighty powers, Sias. <laughs> How slowly being alone on Christmas Eve. That's why I was listening to all request shows on the radio, see? I was listening to real boom and loud, like. I'm sure I heard that gunshot. I heard exactly what the DJ was saying when I heard it, too. You are listening to your radio at a high volume. That's a big problem. Can a man listen to the radio in peace? Isn't this a free country? No. Uh, I believe that Sias is the hero we need. Judge, can you believe a single word this witness has to say? What he heard was probably nothing more than a drum beat from the radio. True enough, it is difficult to believe this testimony. Objection. Wait, Your Honor. The witness said he remembers exactly what the DJ said when he heard the gunshot. E excuse me, DJ? An announcer, the guy who says things on the radio. Anyway... Wait, do you mean those aren't just voices in my head? <laughs> they, they are not, in fact. They are actual people. Learn something new every day. What this means is, when he heard the sound, no music was playing. The DJ only talks between songs, except Jim Ladd occasionally. So he could have heard the gunshot from the lake. I'd like to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Very getting... well, Mr. Wrong. We're getting soon. We're getting close to that famous line. Yep. It, it, we're... I can't believe we're almost to the meme. Press on the fifth statement. She will not leave your eyes if the moon fireflies. <laughs> My apologies. What did the DJ say? Oh, God, he's there. <laughs> Wait, no, wrong, so wrong song. Mr. Wright, please cease these pointless questions. No. What possible good knowing that what the radio DJ said, said would do us? Radio killed the V. Indeed. Mr. Von Karma has a point. I'll allow the question if you only see some reason why we should care. We, we should, should care! care. <laughs> we should care, Your Honor. Of course we should. Because... Why? Uh... Well, how do you know if we don't ask, hmm? Roll for bluff. Hey. I'm very well. Mr. Sias, please testify to the court. 
What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? Just so she said, Hey! It's almost Christmas! I heard the gunshot! We need to present either the lake photo or Lada's deposition. Yep. Larry, by which I mean Sias, are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? Huh? That's the face. <laughs> you look high, my dude. You need a trike. <laughs> you're trying to scare me. You better know I don't scare that easily. <laughs> Ursula and the sea slugs, on the other hand. <laughs> is that true, you little muggets? Is something the matter, Mr. Wrong? Your Honor. Did you hear what the witness just said? <clears throat> Need to prepare myself. The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas when he heard the gunshot. Indeed. And... Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas! Well, LP's over, everybody go home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize what this means? When he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve. I pers I don't remember how it is, Releven. Oh, is it because of the cold case thing? Something like that. Also because of- because it kind of invalidates what happened in the boat itself. Yeah. That would seem to be the case, yes. But he should have heard that gunshot after midnight. We're gonna let it all hang out. This photograph is irrefutable proof of this fact. Look at this photograph. Let's see what the time was on the photo taken when the gun triggered Miss Hart's camera. Oh, 25, 15. 15 minutes after midnight on Christmas Day. This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor. Order, order. What does this mean? The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this witness says he heard a gunshot before midnight. Yes, the answer is simple. The card witness is plainly mistaken. Just look at him. <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> Shifty. His eyes are too close together. And he's trying to hide inside an airman. <laughs> what? He's not wearing any trousers. Uh, no pants! Well, Mr. Wrong, what do you think about Mr. Sice's claim he heard the gunshot before midnight? Pretty sure Larry's right. Sias is not mistaken, Your Honor. He heard that gunshot before midnight. Intriguing. I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. Bring me this evidence, for I doubt your evidence handling skills. The you second want... leg photo. You have yes. no. No end evidence handling type person. You. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Take 
Wow, you're just gonna hand that one to me, game. <laughs> Look at this photograph. photograph. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This was taken by our witness yesterday, Miss Lotta Hart, with her automatic camera. The timestamp on this photo reads December 24th, 11.50pm. Oh? Hmm. But there's nothing on the lake in this picture. Your Honor. The real issue here is not why nothing is shown in this photograph, diagram that sentence. It's why this photograph exists at all. What do you mean? Your Honor. This photograph was taken by an automatic camera. That camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. Uh -huh. Correct. There was a loud noise on the lake at 11.50 p.m. 11, sorry. That is why this photograph was taken when it was not Christmas. In other words, when Larry heard that gunshot, it was most definitely still Christmas Eve. Indeed, it would seem that's the case. Then where does that leave us? Miss Hart testified she heard the gunshots after midnight. Are you claiming she was mistaken? Not at all, Your Honor. It is but a subterfuge. It is a fact that the camera was also triggered at 15 minutes after midnight. Your Honor! That night, there were two sets of gunshots, with a 25-minute pause between them. Why would this be? <laughs> Deal before, Judge. The camera was set to respond to loud noises. Yes? There is no proof that the loud noise at 11.50 was a gunshot. Why did we just go sneeze triggering the camera? Hey! hey. Oh, this is clear at night, man! Oh, clear! Besides, Sia sneezes like a kitten. Like Lantern! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Wrong! There's no turning back now. Can you prove that the loud noise at 11.50 p.m. was indeed a gunshot? A pistol. This is my evidence. A murder weapon? Something about this pistol was bothering me, Your Honor. Both of the witnesses who testified yesterday heard two gunshots. However, the murder weapon was fired three times. When, then, was the last shot fired? Only now have I realized the truth. That third shot was the shot Larry heard just before midnight. Order! Order! <clears throat> that would make sense of the evidence we've seen so far. 
However, this leaves me wondering what exactly did happen that night on the lake. Exactly. If this is true, there were two sets of gunshots separated by 25 minutes. One at 11.50, another at 15 minutes after midnight. Why well, ask you, why? Oh, give, give me a copy of the script. Better think of something quick. Wait a second. Gunshot separated by 25 minutes. Ah, my underwear! Oh, what's wrong, Nick? There are ants in my pants! Also, I have it! Where the ants are freaking Anthony! <laughs> Remember the case with the Steel Samurai? Uh, yeah, of course I remember. The murderer in this case had the same idea as the murderer in that case. Oh my god, we actually got them to connect. What do you mean? Maya! M me Yes? If we don't figure this out now, we'll never overturn Edgeworth's guilty verdict. I've got a hunch, and I'm gonna run with it. Right. I mean, is this safe? Nope. We have nothing to lose. You know, you... you say that from over there, but I, I kind of disagree with you. <laughs> you just watch and let me know if I say anything that sounds like a fish, okay? Your honor. Yes, Mr. Wrong. The testimony just now has cleared up this entire case. What do you mean, Mr. Wrong? Test, test, test. So you finally realize the truth. There can be no other murderer here than Miles Edwards himself. Wrong, Von Karma. A man was shot that night, but it wasn't Edgeworth who did the shooting. Listen, Pop. Take a deep breath and consider the facts. At the time of the murder, one boat was on that lake. That was shown by the witness's photograph. The defendant Edgeworth and the victim Robert Hammond were on that boat. There was a gun set fired on that boat and Robert Hammond fell into the lake. The distance to the shooting was one metre. It couldn't have been suicide. Well... The guilty party has to be the other man on the boat. I admit, it is hard to imagine any other possibility. Yes? But this assumes that the victim was shot at 15 minutes after midnight. What do you mean by that, Mr. Wrong? We have photographic evidence at the time of the shooting. The timestamp on the photo says 00 colon 15. But Larry heard a gunshot 25 minutes before that. 
Robert Hammond was killed then. 25 minutes before the shot on the leg. 